quadriceps are the muscles on the anterior side of your thigh. So if you look here, you'll see three of them, but there are actually four of them. Vastus medialis is medial, vastus lateralis is lateral, rectus femoris, the one you're seeing right here, straight on the femur, rectus femoris, and vastus intermedius is deep, okay? So you'll see three of them here, but again, there are four of them. So if you look at the iliac crest, you'll come to the anterior superior iliac spine. Just inferior to that, you'll see the anterior inferior iliac spine, okay? These red spots right here, this is where rectus femoris has its origin. Remember, there are three more. The vastus muscles, vastus medialis, vastus intermedius, vastus lateralis, okay? Vastus medialis, you'll see right here, and in a moment we'll turn it around and we'll look at the posterior side near this linea aspera. Vastus intermedius, his origin is here. And on the greater trochanter, you'll see vastus lateralis. So the origin is coming up here. Again, muscles of the thigh going to come down like this. If you look at the posterior side, you'll see vastus lateralis. You'll see this red line here. You'll see vastus medialis coming over this way, right along this linea aspera, just on either sides of it. This is the muscle of the anterior side of our thigh, though. So what happens is, as we come down like this, we pass through the patella, which is not on the skeleton, okay? But that patella has a patellar tendon, pardon me, patellar ligament that comes all the way down and grabs onto the tibial tuberosity. That's the bump beneath your knee, okay? So if you can palpate your kneecap, your patella, and you come just beneath that, you'll feel that tibial tuberosity, okay? So these muscles, sitting like this, when you contract them, they pull on your tibia, and they're pulling from this anterior side. So we call that extension of the leg at the knee. The other muscle we have on the posterior side are the hamstrings, okay? Biceps femoris, semitendinosus, semimembranosus. If you look here, you can see very nicely, our origin's going to be up here. Our insertion, as you see, these tendons start wrapping around and also come to the anterior side. You'll see biceps femoris doing the same thing comes towards the anterior side. In fact, when you feel behind your knee like this, if you palpate back here, you can usually feel those tendons right there, okay? So these hamstrings have their origin right here, okay? Right here on the ischial tuberosity. This is what you sit down on when you're seated, okay? All three of them have their origin here. Biceps femoris, semitendinosus, semimembranosus. One more thing I want to point out, the short head of the biceps femoris right along this linea aspera, okay? So here on the femur and here on your ischial tuberosity. Again, these muscles on the posterior side come down like this and they wrap around to the front side here. So if we look on the anterior side, you'll see here biceps femoris, these blue spots here. You'll see here semimembranosus, and you'll see here semitendinosus. So basically, on the medial and lateral sides of the tibia. Again, this is the, these are the muscles on the posterior side of our thigh. So when these come around and these tendons grab to the anterior side, what they end up doing is they pull the tibia back like this. When you pull the tibia back like this, you're decreasing the angle between these two elements. We call it flexion of the leg at the knee. Last one I want to mention are the gastrocnemius. okay? Now your gastrocnemius has two bellies to it. There's a medial head and a lateral head, okay? We call this part of our calf muscles. Your soleus makes up that as well. But your gastrocnemius, starting here, comes all the way through by way of the Achilles tendon or the calcaneal tendon, all the way down to the calcaneus, okay? So this is your heel. Muscle is going to come like this. Tendon pulls all the way down like this. So if we look at the lateral and the medial condyles of the femur, our origin is going to be here, again, in red on the lateral side, here on the medial side. It's going to come all the way down, wrap all the way around. The muscle stops about here, but that calcaneal tendon continues all the way down to right here, right in the calcaneus. That's the insertion. So this is what we use for plantar flexion. When you're standing upright and you go up on your toes like this, okay, we call that plantar flexion.